I clearly don't want to be linked to Rob. Uh, he's on a couple of wanted posters. Uh, Dr. Anderson, I hate to break the news to you, Kansas City's up 21 nothing. Um, so you and Mike can kind of convince over that, Mike, nothing but love. Uh, a couple of people I'd like to uh, introduce tonight and have a special thanks that are uh, just YSU supporters that are beyond reproach. Some of the nicest people that I have met uh, in my lifetime, not only at YSU, I'd like to acknowledge Joe and Olga Malmaser uh, that are so special to, to YSU's family. Uh, Robert and Marilyn O'Leary, uh, sweethearts, looking younger every day. Um, and Coach Ed Strauss, I'd like to say a special thank you uh, to you guys for always being here. No matter what uh, the uh, event, when it concerns YSU, uh, you guys are the backbone. And I appreciate uh, so much you being a part um, of, our, of our banquet every year. I'd like to uh, also uh, take the opportunity to uh, introduce some of our assistant coaches and their wives. Uh, I think this is very appropriate for us. Um, as Bob alluded to, uh, we're on the road all the time. And we're away from our families so much of the time. And uh, I would like uh, for them just to... Uh, I'm going to introduce them all, and then I'd like for them to stand with their wives uh, at, at the end. First, I'd like to say a special thank you uh, for uh, what they do for us um, in terms of the hard work, and Marianne can, her husband Bill is, is with her tonight. Uh, Marianne does a great job in our office. Uh, I'm on a very restricted introducing um, verbiage that I can... Uh, there she's shaking her head in the air, but I was just kidding. Uh, but she's very special to all of us in our office and works very, very hard. Um, Mike Wernicke and uh, Mara Wernicke, Braden Thorne, uh, Lisa has elected to go to a concert tonight. I thought I'd just throw that out there. Uh, she really doesn't have our back. Not really. uh, uh, Tara and Ella are walking around someplace. Um, they're up. Brian gave them the hook <laughs> in terms of them. Uh, Katie Pakinowski and their uh, son Riley. And also Mr. Pakinowski, Ron, uh, his dad is here. Uh, he's a special agent. He has uh, killed nine people. Uh, <laughs> none of us know exactly what he does. Pat won't tell us. All he knows is he tell, he's in Libya this month, or he's over here, he's over there. And we often say to him, Pat, What's he do? He says, Coach, I can't tell you, but he could kill you. <laughs> so, uh, uh, Todd Berkey, uh, his wife, uh, Todd's a caregiver for all of us that are in athletics. Um, those people that are involved in training, um, or have the, the people that are at the best of this are people that have the heart of a servant. And Todd uh, does that. The other night he was with our guys out at the hospital, right, Ash and KP, till late, late, late. And uh, kept us informed and just does a great job for us. Uh, Justine is not here tonight, his wife, but his other uh, wife, Ruben, is here. And uh, we just like to acknowledge Ruben for her part. I'll give you a quick story. We do a, we do a uh, boot camp where we meet at 6 o'clock in the morning. And we, we do that for a week. And we really put the kids through just an exhausting week. And, and it builds character and it uh, builds uh, personality and toughness. And we had these different stations, and Ruben got up on his own uh, five mornings uh, to be there with us at, uh, at six o'clock in the morning. And uh, all, of our, all of our guys and our staff appreciated you being there, Ruben. Uh, although you were grumpy one day, but the other days you were pretty good. Uh, and then my family, uh, my wife, Kim, and uh, my daughter, Anna Lee, and my grandson, Aiden. So if you guys could all stand together, and we'll give you a quick hand. Up. <laughs> Bill and Mary Ann, you did not stand, but that's okay. I'll get you later. Uh, we're very, very excited about our year. Uh, this is... Uh, 
met a group of, of young men that have made a major, major commitment to hard work, uh, to getting along. Uh, we are somewhat unique in this year's class or this year's group because this is the first time since I've been here that we had every person, every player stay for the summertime and we were all together. Even our freshmen came in and were together. So uh, they worked hard, they played, in the, and uh, we've got so much recognition out of uh, two things. Obviously, uh, as, the, as the NCAA tournament went on, uh, I, I said to Kim the night of the championship game, if they could just beat Connecticut, we would be the trivia question of a lifetime <laughs> uh, in terms of the, all the recognition that we had gotten from the, the, us beating Butler. Uh, and, and that was not a fluke. Our, our guys came of age as that year went on. And it's my job now to get us back to where we were at the end, in the beginning. And to be able to uh, take on a very, very challenging schedule. I'd like to have all of our guys now come up, including the assistant coaches. And we're going to line up and they're going to introduce the person uh, to their left. And give the other person's name and where they're from. So if you guys will, will come up now. Spread down. Okay. 
Captain Ashton Ward, aka Mr. Three Pointer, and uh, my man gonna have a huge year this year. Aka Two Stars. This man right here is Nate Perry. Uh, he's from Pennsylvania, somewhere in Pennsylvania. One day it's Pittsburgh, next day it's Greenwood, Greenwood. <laughs> Enjoy being around in our basketball program. 